With such a large class, graduating seniors from Flagler Palm Coast High School will receive diplomas and awards here at the Ocean Center in Daytona Beach. One among them will be missing. His mother is honored to step in, step up. I just wish it were him instead. Carmen Gray says she's had some moments this week as her only son's friends ready their cap and gowns, look forward to the next chapter. She treasures Curtis Gray's senior picture taken early in the year. Feels sad she isn't making the kind of preparations other parents are. I found myself sitting instead, picking out a headstone for him. I can't even begin to describe what that felt like. But Ms. Gray finds moments to treasure, like a conversation she had with her son days before he was shot and killed in Palm Coast. She laughed when he made her promise to be great. He says, no, Mom, I really want you to promise me that you'll be great. So part of that, standing there receiving the diploma for him, it's going to be my effort to be great in his name. Since the shooting, the Gray family's been surrounded by support and love. Mom says the gifted athlete touched so many in his 18 years. He had done a lot in his lifetime, and he's had experiences that most kids at 18 wouldn't have. So, you know, it kind of gives me comfort to know that he just finished a little bit faster. Ms. Gray says she finds herself still texting her son. It gives her comfort. I may text him about this day. You know, you received your diploma today. Congratulations. Carmen Gray says life, as she has unfortunately learned, is far too short to live with anger and regret. She cherishes every moment with her son and will continue to keep him close as she moves forward. In Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.